Hi, this is Kate Hanai from FlyersRights.org. I have a rather sad story to share with you all today, and I can give it to you all in email form in a much longer version, but I'd like to give you the short version of a horror story that was reported to us through our hotline by a number of witnesses as well as the victim herself, a cancer patient who had 220 stitches running down her torso. Amy was trying to get from Eugene, Oregon to San Diego for some life-saving surgery. She suffers from lymphatic cancer, adrenal failure, and a number of other disorders. She's only 26 years old. Six passengers began calling my cell phone approximately a week ago to tell me that there was a, a cancer patient in a wheelchair who was being abused by a United Airlines employee. This passenger had life-saving vital medication in her baggage that needed to be carried on. For some reason, this particular employee named Ted took it upon himself to force her to check her medications. In addition to making her check her medications, he made her pay for those extra bags once they were pulled out of her two carry-on bags. This is just simply unacceptable, but what happens next is even worse. He then goes to her and says, now that you've paid for these two bags that you didn't intend to check that have your life-saving medication in them, we want you to sign a release of liability in case United Airlines destroys your medications in the cargo hold. As a 26-year-old girl who was naive in the ways of the airlines, she wasn't sure if she should sign that release of liability, so she asked him if she could not sign it. He became so angry he reached into her bag and ripped up her tickets and told her that not only would she not be on that flight, but she would not be on any United flight that day. Remember, she had a life-saving surgery the next day. One mother, whose daughter was on the flight that Amy should have been on, called me and pleaded with me to call Amy. She had her phone number. I called her. I then called the airport authority in Eugene, Oregon, and I said, here's what's going on in your airport. That airport authority did walk over to the terminal, did get her a food voucher, and did make sure that she was on a flight home later that day. Unfortunately, there were many more issues that occurred during the day that caused her to have a 16-hour day flying from Eugene, Oregon to San Diego, where she finally met up with her baggage, and she got her vital medications, and did make it to her surgery the next day. If there's anyone that would like more information on this event, including Amy's full name and telephone number for an interview, I would be happy to provide it. This is one of those stories that must be told. Thank you so much. Kate Hanai at Service for You, FlyersRights.org.